Alright, so what is the big deal with Nilofa launching her hijab in a nightclub? And what is the big deal with Yusuf Ishaq Moss celebrating Chinese New Year? So here's a quick summary of what happened in the past few weeks in case you missed it. Nilofa launched her new hijab collection at a nightclub in KL and although it was solely used as a venue, like there was no alcohol whatsoever, it still drew so much hate from netizens. Back in Singapore, Yusuf Ishaq Moss hosted Chinese New Year for all folks of different races and religions and came under fire when a new segment showed people dancing at the mosque car park as part of the celebrations. So what do these two have in common other than the scorn of Muslim netizens? If you, like me, find some great joy in reading vitriolic comments, you will realize there are polarizing views on these issues. Okay, if you wonder how dare these people have a different view than mine, don't they know it's haram? Allow me to explain from the perspective of a sociologist. Da Khan, one of the originators of modern sociology, came up with two concepts, sacred and profane which are central to his theory of religion. So basically, sacred is something that is holy and revered. And some relate to it as a religious and spiritual symbol, like the hijab. The profane are things that are not sacred, almost the opposite. They are everyday things, not necessarily forbidden, but also not holy, just like the hijab, for some people. As for the mosque, it is a religious space, but to some, not every part of the mosque, just the prayer hall. So if you're someone who strongly believes that what happened was really haram and tarnishes the sanctity and the name of the faith, it's because you believe that the hijab is sacred. This opinion of yours, no matter how right you think it is, isn't shared by everyone. And you can't force them to share your most right opinion because they are entitled to their opinion just like you are with yours. So, the gem I discovered from all this disagreement was the Singapore Mufti's reply to the whole controversy. He said it so beautifully in Malay on his Facebook. He said, To facilitate religious life of a community is noble but has many challenges. No matter how difficult the responsibility of administering religious institutions which provide services for the community, it is still not as difficult as managing the expectations and hopes of the members of the community itself. With that being said, feel free to disagree with me in the comments below and we can continue this conversation from there. If you're interested to read more about Dachheim's Sacred and Profane, I'll put the link down below. So today's video is brought to you by The Shepherd Space. Um, it's a co-working space by The Shepherd Group and I'll show you a bit about the space. This is what the space looks like. It's at 52 Bushra Street. Okay, and today's video is successful thanks to Saifun. Good job, Nat. Thank you. Hey, do you think I should dance in this video? Like, do you think like the Mufti will write me an open letter? Because for these two, for these two issues, like the issue was dancing, right? <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.